one of the things that I find to be most interesting about February 2022 is the death of Clemson. Let me under, let me let me walk, walk that out, okay? The next Clemson might never happen. Clemson probably won't happen again. Okay? Check this out. 2016, the year Clemson won its first national title under Dabo Sweeney, the Tigers finished number 11 in the composite. Okay? The previous year, 2015, the Tigers finished number 9. 2014, they finished number 16. And finally, 2013, the senior class of that 2016 national championship Clemson Tiger team was ranked number 15. There's a precedent, okay, now for four classes consecutively outside of the top 10, let alone outside of the top five, overachieving and winning a national title. However, Clemson is the only program to accomplish that feat in the CFP era, and I dare say nobody else will do it because the transfer portal exists, okay? Coaches are constantly trawling the portal, and kids are constantly putting their names in it day after day. It is completely common now for you to celebrate a kid signing at signing day and then to grieve the loss of him going into the portal and the re-recruitment of him. Caleb Williams, on July 4th, 2020, threw the horns down on national TV and an OU hat with the D.C. skyline behind him and fireworks going off. Where is he playing football now? Yeah, we talk about that. But the other part about this is, to put in perspective what 2016 Clemson had accomplished, you have to think about 2022 Tennessee. Producer Cats, Tennessee, okay? It would be like this 2022 class winning a national championship, or this 2022 Tennessee team winning a national championship, and that 2022 class would be true freshmen. Because the Volunteers were number 13 in 2019, number 11 in 2020, number 22 in 2021, and number 15 today. I submit to you, Tennessee's a good football team, and I enjoy watching them play football, and I have all respect for Josh Heupel and what he has done, and I'm excited to see what Hendon Hooker can do this season. However, I am not going to pick Tennessee to win the national championship this year. It ain't happening. And you know what? You ain't doing it. And you know what? Tennessee fans ain't doing it. That's how absurd 2016 Clemson is. It ain't supposed to happen, dog. And now it can't happen because Clemson had built a reputation around we recruit the hell out of our players. We don't offer a bunch because we don't want a bunch. We want you. And that worked. They got the guys they wanted. They built a culture that held them there. I mean, we were talking about going something like six years without Clemson suffering a decommitment before Corey Foreman did it. Like, that's ridiculous. And one of the reasons that you can still do that, you didn't have to contend with the transfer portal. The transfer portal has blown up Clemson. Blown up everybody, but it's especially blown up Clemson, who had built its reputation and its foundation upon recruiting prior to the portal where you could hold kids, you could talk to them about staying the course, you could develop them, grow them up, and overachieve with them. Kids are no longer that patient because they don't have to be. At the end of the day, they want to play. Winning national championships does not factor. What does, who's going to put me into the NFL, who's going to put me in the NFL very quickly, and where can I have a doggone good time playing football, okay? It's wild. We're never going to see another Clemson. Thanks for watching this video, and remember, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any other videos on the number one ranked show YouTube channel.